Breswell Primary School pupils were given a knockout talk by professional boxer Anthony Crawler on Wednesday. The 31-year-old, who held the WBA lightweight title from 2015 until 2016, delivered a motivational speech as part of the National School Sport Week. The initiative, which is taking place up and down the country, encourages children to develop a healthy habit of playing sport. In a bid to plant a seed of interest, Greswell pupils have been taking part in a number of activities, including archery and laser shooting. But before they resume their activities on Wednesday, Crawler gave a talk which packed a punch. We spoke to head teacher John Cooper about the significance of Crawler's visit. Throughout the school week, we focus on sports being really high profile. Obviously, as you saw in the assembly, we got the platinum award, and it just shows the dedication that the staff and the children have towards sports. Uh, Mrs. Cruel is a friend of Anthony Crawler, she set it all up. Mr. Donny has put it together, uh, and as you can see, the children were completely inspired throughout the, throughout the assembly. We also spoke to the man himself, who hoped his speech would inspire the pupils and help them achieve their future goals. When someone tells you you can't do something and then you go and do that, it um, then inspires other people and hopefully that's what sort of talking to the children so it gets that message across. Um, there's going to be plenty of these children there who get knockbacks. My career, as much as anyone's, has had plenty of ups and downs where I could have walked away. And um, I think just sort of trying to say to these children, you know, it's not going to be one straightforward path. It's not going to be all highs. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some lows, but they make you stronger, and uh, they make the highs. And when you get to that to that end goal, to that final destination, make it much sweeter. As a proud Mancunian, Crawler said it's a massive honour to fight at the Manchester Arena in front of thousands of fans. I feel so blessed because, as I was saying, when I was I was similar age to some of these children here. I'd be up in the, the upper tier and whether it be a birthday present or saving up pocket money for weeks to get, you know, to get a ticket to go and watch some of the greats of British boxing. So for me to, to go to fight there, to top bills there, be the main event, it's, um, I have to pinch myself at times because I mean, life goes so quick. I remember 20 years ago being there and throughout Ricky Atten's career as well, I'd say even before that, um, where you just you know, you, you, you do dream of that one day, you, you go Old Trafford or whoever you may support, um, and, and you, you dream of scoring that winning goal. My dream was to be a world champion and to be fighting at that arena, and, and that's what I've done. Now, you mentioned Old Trafford there. You're a massive Manchester United fan. What was your view of last season? Last season, there was uh, there's some ups and there's some downs, certainly. And uh, I'll be honest, I think by the time the season finished, I was happy like most Reds, it was coming to an end. And, I went to Wembley, disappointing, disappointing. Certainly first half, mm. uh, but always it's never nice losing, but certainly losing finals. But um, I think this year now we've got to strengthen up in the summer, make a few signings, and I think that we, we've got to be um, challenging for um, the title. That, that last year just wasn't good enough. As good as Manchester City was, as much as it pains you to say it, as good as they was, um, we've got to be challenging. They can't be winning the, the league by that many points. And, us, us playing sort of dull football, which we did at times. And uh, I think this season's a huge season. Mm. Now, just finally, obviously, because it's the World Cup, I need to ask you, is it coming home? Of course it's coming home. It's on its way home. No, yeah, he's uh, we keep joking. And, uh, but there's, there's, like, belief. There's belief, and I think... I just thought before the tournament started, there didn't seem the usual pressure. Mm. We've had two good wins. I know it might be against lower opposition, but we've looked as good as any of the other nations. And... Uh, yeah, it's coming on. Crawler may have stole the show throughout the morning, but Greswell have their own star in the making. Teacher Matt Donoghue has recently been promoted to the national list of referees for the forthcoming season. He said it's a massive honour to be given the chance and thank those who have supported him throughout the journey. A lot of hours of time and dedication have gone in over the years refereeing starting a youth football, junior football, adult football and then obviously through the non-league system um, and so obviously to get into the professional game is, is absolutely fantastic and it's really proud of achieving yourself and family and uh, everybody involved, yeah. So how did you first get into refereeing because of course it's quite a hostile profession these days isn't it? Did that put you off in any way? Uh, you can probably tell from my accent, not, um, not originally from around these parts, I started um, in, the, in the junior leagues, in the youth leagues in, uh, in Essex where I'm originally from. Um, and I just enjoyed it, I really did enjoy it and I, and I got a real buzz for it. 
um, and, and I took it up from there. There have been moments where there has been that hostility over the years, but uh, thankfully there have been few and far between, and the majority of, of, of games are really enjoyable experiences. So now you've been promoted into the Football League, uh, do you know which games you'll be taking charge of? So it's League 2 and League 1 um, next season, obviously cup competitions as well, so Czech Trade Trophy, FA Cup, etc. Um, we've got them that, that, that we'll be doing, we don't know which fixtures yet, they're, they're released on a weekly basis. Are there any teams you're most looking forward to potentially uh, refereeing next season, like Portsmouth in League One, a massive club? I think obviously um, League Two and League One now, there are lots of big clubs, there's lots of um, lots of players in, in there that have got a lot of experience from, from the high level. So I, I think you just take each game as it comes as a referee and, um, and you let the appointments be the appointments and you, you just achieve your very best on each, each game.